everyone it is I Zed Killer back again with another video and I know it's been a long time since I've been on here and since I've uploaded a video but I needed to take a break and as you can see a lot has changed my hair has changed it used to be grayish and it was just so hard to upkeep it that I just went to my natural root color and then just left it blonde on the bottom which I'm loving a lot but honestly the heat and California is killing me and I'm thinking about going short. I'm not sure how short I want to go because it's been a long time since it's been growing out. It's going to be like a waste of time for the hair to grow out. But for today's video, I wanted to actually play something I've already played a long time ago. And the problem is that there's one of them that I haven't played and there's three of them and I just bought this on Xbox because before I used to play it on PC when CD things were a thing. And now I actually was able to buy an Xbox and that game is Amnesia. And I bought the collection which uh, contains Amnesia The Dark Descent which is the first game, Amnesia Machine for Pigs which is the second game, and it's the third one I have no idea what it's called. Obviously it's Amnesia but not sure what that is. I'm going to go ahead and play these games in order just like Evil Within 1, Evil Within 2. Love that game, miss it. I was really lost without it, didn't know what to do. But I have so many videos that I want to do and share with you guys. And I'm going to try to make a variety of videos a week, but sometimes I'm just going to go ahead and play like my game walkthroughs. Um, I did want to go ahead and play more of the original Xbox games, but I thought I was going to go ahead and switch it up a little bit. So I'll upload various videos. But, but anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get straight into this game so we can begin the Amnesia Collection. So here's Amnesia Collection. That's a pig. I believe that's a machine for pigs. I don't know. Oh, this is a little bit too loud. Okay, so there's the Dark Descent, Justine, and Machine for Pigs. How do I know which one goes in order? I don't know. The Dark Descent, Justine, and then Machine for Pigs? Is that how we should play it? I guess we'll play it in the order that's on the screen. Alright, we're going to play the Dark Descent because that is the first one, and this is the scariest one of all to me. I mean, the Machine for Pigs is kind of creepy too. Uh, there's a lot that I do not remember about this game, which I'm freaking out about. It says, this game features auto-saving when using this icon, do not turn off, whatever. Frictional games with support from Nordic Game Program. Oh my god, I don't know if I should turn the volume up so I can hear better, but I'm also scared of all the noises. If you guys see me, if you guys see me jumping, it's probably because... <laughs> I am, I love scary movies, scary games, everything, but it's creepy. Okay, so, welcome to Amnesia, the Dark Descent. What follows is a couple of quick messages on how to get the best possible experience. Click A to continue. Okay, Amnesia should not be played to win. Instead, focus on immersing yourself in the game's world story. Well, I don't want to immerse myself, I want to win. That's the whole point for me. Do not worry about when and how to save during gameplay. The game will take care of that for you. Awesome. When you want to leave the game, just choose save and exit. You can use the continue to return to where you left off next time you start up the game. Pretty awesome. The world of Amnesia is a dangerous place and you are extremely vulnerable. Do not try to fight the enemies encountered. Instead, use your wits. Hide or even run if necessary, but I like fighting, and I'm in the evil would say I freaking killed beasts. My instinct is to fight, not run. The interplay between light and dark is very important to the game, and because of this vital, uh, because of this, it is vital to set up the gamma correctly. Use the slider control below to do so. Adjust it until the square at the right is barely visible. What square at the right? There's a square at the right. It says adjust it so the square at the right is barely visible. Oh. Yeah, that's way too dark sunshine. Both of them are invisible. It says the square to the right. Alright. Because I'm trying to make good content video, I want to be able to see, so I'm going to leave it here. That is all. Hope you enjoy immersing yourself into the world of Amnesia. Well, I'm actually not. I'm freaking out. I honestly remember only a couple of these things, not all of them, so it's kind of scary. What are my options? Well, I want to 
read the commentary. I'm gonna be the commentary. Wait, no, maybe I should. Yeah, I wanna do the commentary. Okay. Enemies will spot you more easily. Tender boxes and oils are harder to come by. Odyssey is disabled. Ah! No, we're not gonna play the hard mode. First, let's try the normal one. The way the game is designed to play. Yeah, I wanna play it the way it's designed to play. I hate having so much light in my room because it's harder to play darker games. That happened with Just a Radio Feature 2 and it was very difficult for me to see, which is why I freaking fell off the skyscraper so many times. But hopefully I can see better in, in here. Hopefully. We'll see. Don't forget. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. you remember that you're Daniel? Well, how freaking wonderful, sunshine. I'm freaking out over here. My name's Daniel. That blood looks so realistic. Oh my god. Kidding on me. Just kidding. A memento has been added to the journal. Why? Make sure to share these whenever you get stuck. Well, you said there's no one. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. Uh, I am pretty damn sure it's either candle light bullshit, uh, somebody dropping pomegranate juice, or wine. Okay. Why am I all all weirded? I need some water. It's shower time. Lord knows how long I've showered. I'm freaking out. I don't even know where to go. Which way does this go? Hello? Anybody there? Hello? Here's something. Hello? Oh, mister. Mister, perhaps you could help me? Why am I so freaking dizzy? Why? Why am I so low on the ground? Hello, good sir. Hello. Perhaps you can help me. Oh. When holding an object, press left bracket to throw it. Left bumper. Press the D-pad to rotate the object and look at it from different angles. Uh, sir. It says, oh shit. My bad. I wasn't aware that it does that. They just told me to throw it, okay? Oh, beautiful. How beautiful. Do you need a head, sir? Oh, I'm so sorry that I took it. Well, my bad. Okay. No more messing around. Let's go. Uh, the blood can just stop right here at the wall. Hello? There's no more blood. Wow. Well, I think that means not to go there. Can you hear me calling? Darling? Darling, it's me. I'm sorry, I'm home late. It says hold down right trigger and move the stick in order to move the door. Press left bracket to throw the door open or shut depending on your direction you face. Uh -huh. Hello? 
Hello? It's just me, that killer. I'm really, really sorry. I regret playing this game now by myself. I wish this was a multiplayer game. I heard noises, I heard noises, I heard noises. Please, 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 please. please. Oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm freaking out. Oh, this game is not for me, this game is not for me, this game is not for me! shaking is there an earthquake must we find a table must i find a table excuse me excuse me excuse me i'm not liking any of this uh dude what is up with what is going on with me i am just like going cuckoo for cocoa puffs Sorry, I did not mean to offend anyone here. Look, there are blood trails going down this way. I have to just gain some courage and bravery and just go. Okay, the other children cheered him on. His name, voice, and steadily rising pace urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The youngest voice thought and struck his victim with a rock. Well, that's pretty freaky. Uh, this game's kind of crazy. Old Forge Hive. Archive, Archive. I remember this monster. Whoa. Witnessing unsettled events will reduce your sanity. It can, it can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. Well, so um, you're basically saying the more shit that happens, the more insane I'm gonna get. Beware, when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly, slowly drain. Turn on lights in the surrounding these tinder boxes or search for other sources of light. piece of freaking book. Well, I'm not going to here now. Blood is leading me this way. I'm not aware of that. Oh, come on. What is up with this wind? Hello? I'm done here, you guys. Look, found a lantern. Inventory. You have picked up a lantern and killed it. Alright, X. Got it. What's this? What is you? Now that that they have. These things can't see in dark either, so I'm pretty safe. Okay, so 
that's how you turn on the torches. You have to use ginger boxes. Yeah. Well, are all these other noises very necessary, to be honest? Hi. Hello. This is me. Oh, honey. I'm home. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is home. Hello. There's a light over there. Maybe it's safe. Seriousness, you need to find oil to make you. You dumb. Where do I get oil? Pick up oil. Oh, fantastical. I already got it. How do I do it? I want to put the oil. Fuel for that. Wow, I really had to do that. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. Mm -hmm. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Oh Redeem God. us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder, murder him. him. Your former self, Daniel. Well, I have to go to the inner sanctum. And um, Oh, hell no. Nah. I am not ready for this. I am absolutely not ready for this. Do you know how freaking out I am right now? I need you to give me some new stuff. Somebody needs to kill this place. I'm disgusting. Entrance hall. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. His were made hidden in fear. She too would be punished. Um, but I'm not understanding. Oh my god, the old archives. Uh, to run, hold down. Well, wait, left right here. to run. Left trigger. Okay, got it. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My 
most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Well, are you trying to tell me there's no way to get there? Why don't we check this place out? You know, we're not in a rush. Maybe there's stuff we missed. It's been many, many years that I've played this game. A good, solid eight years, eight to 10 years. I'm a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie. Just a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I really don't know where my confidence is on. However, you know, the, the blood leading down here is kind of a hint that we have to go down and believe. I don't necessarily want to go here. What does it say? Refinery. What did you write in my notes? Oops. Uh, white. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path of the refinery. Can it be solved? Oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay. Can I can I get one of these beautiful things? No. Well, that sucks. Can I touch it? It is tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hand or tool. Well, it has to be some sort of liquid, I believe, right? Okay, so it's not that hard right now. I mean Any other game? And the Lord knows. No! Hello? There's somebody here. I don't even know where it came from. Is there anyone here? No roaches. Get out of here. Before I stamp on you, I will stomp you, darling. Also, it has been locked. Well, fantabulous, you son of a fantasticness. What? You are annoying. You, you want to disappear? Are you going to disappear now? Go away, you filthy creature. Disgusting. Disgusting. Okay, I heard annoying. Look, it's not fair because in this whole game, you can't fight. You have to freaking... What is this? Wine cellar laboratory. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the wine cellar laboratory. Laboratory. I heard somebody speaking. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish de delights, he thought. Just like the ones of the consulate in Constantinople. Open? I heard a lady scream, and I have no idea if it came from the left or right. I mean, we came from the left. <laughs> Is there anyone here? I heard a scream. Scream again for yes. Well, I hear flies. Them. I don't necessarily want to walk. Why does it keep doing that? I'm out of oil again. I found oil. Alright, hold up. I need to mix my oil. This one here. Drains oil when turned on to add more oil to the lamp and press A and uh, open the lamp to the item. Oh, inventory. Okay, I understand. There's something that's here that doesn't want me to go in there. Disgusting. I can't believe I played both Amnesia, Dark Descent, and Amnesia for King of Shiva Pigs. I don't even know which one's scarier. Where are the damn tinder boxes at? I haven't found a single one. At least give me some more oil or something. Y'all think I'm scared. I am. I'm not gonna lie. There's children screaming. I'm coming. Dearest child, I'm coming. Don't scream. They're empty and useless. We could lift them 
with one hand. How freaking amazing is that? Not 100% sure where I'm going. Oh, look, a note. I found a note. Uh, chemical location. Okay, the lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiences, uh, experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. You move them to the wine cellar? Why would you do that? You piece of shit. So I have to go to the wine cellar, I have to make the chemical thingy, and this chemical thingy is gonna freaking undo those spider tissue things. I understand, okay. Got the game so far. So wine cellar. Why would you put in the wine cellar? That is the worst place to literally put it. Thank you. I, I'm gonna add some more oil now. Mm. Oh, okay, now at least I can see my uh Another memory, I suppose. So, uh, there should be more Kubrat. Let me see. Let me see. And one part Aqua Fortis. First tinder box. Are you, are you to light candles and other light sources in the environment? Current number of tinder box in inventory. I have one. Fantabulous, Donna. Why do I hear water? artificial variety. The former compounds lack the uh, potency, potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and or piment are given to the cuprate binds them well. And the cuprate binds them well. Okay. This time I will attempt aqua rega in the regia instead and aqua fortis in hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently into solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find the acclimatic solution to my predicament. Well, I don't know if you're an idiot or not. I can open drawers. Your damn chair, you gotta move. I hear children and other things. What is this that I just founded? One day I'll return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for life together, I know I'm better than others. I weep for them, the lust of my power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and deceit. Well, must have been a memory or something. Ugh. It's like I'm leaving memories of myself everywhere.
traveling to the Dover Mint, going through the Canterbury, he made sure to visit, oh, pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with the neglect of family. This game is pretty intense, and I just started playing. It's the laboratory, that's where we're at to make the mix. That's the wine cellar. I have not found my friend. because there are wooden planks on them. And there's no way to take them off apparently because we can't use tools. Okay, what is the same? Archives. Well, clearly, like I said, there are planks on it. There's no way to go through. I don't think I want to go through archives right now. Right now, we're going to go. I just saw something. Oh, boy. You best not be. I want this whole game to be in the light. I hate dark games. Why does it have to be called The Dark Descent? And the machine for pigs is dark, too. It's not like it's any brighter. I'm so curious about the second one, Justine. The white one. It looks... It's locked and it won't open without a key. Well, fantastic, because now we need to go to our notes. Mementos, okay. Find the key for the wine cellar. Evidence in the laboratory has revealed the combining of four chemicals can create a powerful acid. I understand that. Chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. I need the key for that. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path of the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Well, yes. I was just, I need to freaking find a key. Well, our only choice is to go to the archives. shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. So we're in London. Well then it's appropriate to use my British accent. Oh, the only reason I'm speaking British is because I, oh, not that I found out, I knew that Millie Bobby Brown is British or whatever, or Australian, I should think. But I just finished The Stranger Things like a week ago and it was amazing. Last week, I found, I finished up on Wednesday. Unnecessary hummings. I was hiding in the corner right here, would you still be able to find me? Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. this game to be scary. 
Oh dear goodness graciousness. Can I hide in the corners? I was hiding in the corners here. I think I can't, and then they'll just go away and they won't find me. I wish you came up to death, that would be nice. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Hmm. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. Oh, I was trapped. Fire, please. Well, it doesn't start fires. 
these kind of chunks? Well, if I would have known, I would have done it a long damn time ago, sunshine. Okay, I need to get more of these things. leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Find a key for the wine cellar. Evidence the laboratory feeling. Okay, now I understand this. I understand all of this. So I don't know if there's another entrance. You guys want me to go there. I know that's already. Historia. Why can't I just run outside? I want, I just, I don't even want to play this game. I just want to go outside. No? Look, mister. I know you probably want to hunt me down. And probably eat my insides. I'm just not interested in any of that stuff, you know? I'm not into that kind of stuff. I'm gonna give myself a second. Before my into fall out. Everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Mm, you call them workers, not servants. Oh my god, I don't want to do this whole ghost thing. I'm done with this. Western wall. And then east wing. Don't be so sensitive. 
why the maps room is like Kingdom of Prussia. Central Prussia. Why, where are we? What, where are we? Why, why are we here? Yes, crawl under the desk. Safe zone. Safe zone. Very safe. What are we doing? What is going on? 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. What is it, Zelda? It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Yeah, I would be too. I reached out, closing it in my hands. A faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Why is there music playing again? I don't like this. I know there's something going to be in this stupid freaking music room. I know this because the music keeps playing and there's nobody there. I've already, already been there. Been there and in there. Now let's see if only place to go right now. It sucks. Okay, it sucks times two. Oh, wait a second. I'm locked in here. This is disgusting. Damn it. Nope. Must find a new way out of this area. Oh my god, are you serious? The freaking thing is closed. It's full schmizzle. Okay. We're gonna go to the Breakable by hand. Why are you lie to me? I broke it with my hand. That's bullshmizzle. I broke it with my hand. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? Yes. You can never be too careful then.
of note. I read it. Local fork folklore that gathers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Portuguese war. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to the ground. The grounds. Their bodies rot, but their tainted souls had left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition still living creatures. It is their prey, which can be heard struggling inside damp burplap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Henrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known Edrut, visited the Ad Altstadt and the, at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for, the, for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of the kingdom's past. During his stay at the during his stay, all the prominent members of the society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only never to be seen again. Henrich is known to have passed away in the Grenoble. Some ten years later, he dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepily hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The immortal baron. The Baron of Bernberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt, and like most of those, the noble birth rumors are inherited alongside with the title, researching the history revealing little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as a protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the reign to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it came uh, when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Well, those are some amazing stories, I'm not going to lie. I 
heard it real loud and clear. It does not like me taking the wine cellar key. It's like, put it back on my desk. Of course, I couldn't just pick it up the key. Of course not. I forgot. More notes oh, regarding the close of the closing of the wine cellar. Wellum and his fools have endangered my research a, a long enough with their abs absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to burning. Uh, burning bird. I need to lock Willem and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would be sense to solve both my problems. Okay. What is up with all the noise again? Jesus. All this howling and whining, I can't take this crap. It's a beautiful tree, though. No. How the hell is this going on? a maniac right now because I'm freaking out. I just want to save this progress and try again tomorrow. Oh, dearest. Back to the entrance hall. The sand gave his way to a tired body as he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wine gently sweep across his face and his dirty, crusty lips. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm going to save my progress and I'm going to move on. We got the wine cellar key, but I'm just not ready for what's going to happen. So, of course, nasty, nasty as bloody heads. The whole spinning wall. Son of a B word. It hurts. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna save my progress here so I can continue. I have no idea what this nasty stuff is. But I got the magic key. I got the key to breaking the wine cellar. That was the whole point of this episode is to get the key to the wine cellar. Lord knows what's gonna happen in the wine cellar. I know I need some ingredients and it's gonna be crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably continue this tomorrow. 
if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button if you haven't already subscribe to my channel that way you get to see more of me and if you have any comments or suggestions uh, about this game uh, i'm gonna save an exit um please do let me know i forgot everything like as you can see i literally had no idea i didn't remember any of it i just saw and that's how it was so if you guys have any recommendations for me or little hints please let me know in the comments below otherwise i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye for now